Welcome to the HydroMaster service video series. I'm Lance, an engineer at HydroMaster, and today we'll cover the proper way to change the oil and filter in a Titan 575. The tools required to do the oil and filter change will be an 11 16 combination wrench, a 13 16 combination wrench, and a oil filter wrench. The parts you will need to do the oil change are a 000049014 HydroMaster oil filter, which is a Briggs product, and three and a half quarts of Mobile One synthetic oil of 5W30. Before we get started, HydroMaster recommends that you use the proper safety equipment. In this case, we'll use safety glasses and chemical resistant gloves. We'll begin by removing the engine side panel. And you'll notice that I'm not using any tools to do that as the panel's held on with magnets, making it more convenient to install and remove. Next, Using the 11 16 and 13 16 wrenches that we mentioned earlier, we're going to remove the hose, the drain hose from the um, clamp that holds it, and use the wrenches to remove the oil drain cap from the end. This will allow the engine oil to drain from the pan into a, an approved drain pan. While the engine oil is draining, we've moved around the other side of the machine. And again, we'll remove the access panel so that we can get to the engine oil filter on this side. In order to remove the filter, we'll use this filter wrench, placing it on the end of the filter and rotating it to the left to break it loose. You'll notice that there's a catch pan underneath the filter to keep the oil from the filter running down in and getting into the heat exchanger and uh, the components in the lower part of the machine, saving you a lot of cleanup work. Now we'll remove the filter and put it into the drain pan. And next we will prep the new filter or replacement filter to go back on. In order to prepare it, we're going to take some oil and we're going to put some oil on this seal for the filter and this will help the filter to thread on and for the seal to seal tightly against the engine block. Keep in mind when you're replacing the oil filter to only snug it and not over tighten it. Now that the oil is finished draining, we will reinstall the cap for the drain line and make sure that you snug it so that it doesn't leak. We'll then put that drain hose back into its storage clamp, which is up here under the radiator. Next we'll begin by filling the engine with oil by removing the cap on top of the rocker cover. You'll notice that we provide you two different options for putting oil into the engine, depending on the installation configuration in the van. You can either pour oil into the rocker cover through the right side of the machine, or you can insert a funnel through an access hole that we've created in the top panel and pour the oil through the funnel into the rocker cover directly from on top. Again, the oil we recommend is Mobile One 5W30 synthetic motor oil. Now that we've finished filling the engine with three and a half quarts of 5W30 motor oil, we need to make very sure that we put the engine oil fill cap back on into the rocker cover 
and tighten it securely. This is very important, otherwise the, you can lose the oil out of the engine over time. Finally, we'll reinstall our magnetic side cover and that completes changing the oil and filter in a Titan 575.